Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to be on mid lane against the 1 million almost Kartus OTP. Some Zaya Rakan, some Silas Irelia. I actually thought Silas was going to be mid and Kartus jungle. Well, season 9 or what season is this is fun. <laughs> I guess you cannot really know what you're against. Now he plays with uh, Exhaust and Dark Harvest and playing with Ignite and Dark Harvest. I actually started recently to play with uh, Dark Harvest and I found it very very well and very nice and very good but the trick with Dark Harvest is that I'm going like this, I'm going corrupting and the runes are Dark Harvest, Taste of Blood, Eyeball, Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Delivery and Time Warp Tonic, obviously Magic Resist against Kartus but the trick is that you have to fight a lot. Now this tactic actually might work if you're proccing as often as you can that uh, that item, that rune, sorry. So basically you're interested in going for as many trades as you want against any mid laner that dares to oppose you. Now in assassin matchups obviously you gotta be careful but early on till level 6 you can proc it once or twice if you're doing fine. And I find it useful in teamfights as well because it resets on takedown. So every time you get a kill, every time something's happening on the map you get reset practically or an assassin like Katarina or Pike with their resets and you can deal and output more damage. Now that's the theory behind it. I'm actually going for Ludens, probably a Zonia because we're against this. And now I expect him to place his Qs very well so I have to stick around minions because Qs from Kartus deal less damage if you're against if you're stacked up with someone that can be a minion, that can be a jungle creep and so and I just didn't do what I said I'm going to do. So, I'm just gonna dance around a bit till he stops doing this madness. Now, he's probably going to spam this, isn't it? Now, I pinged where she put that. This is annoying. I need level 3 to be able to deal with this. And I can understand why he has over 50% win rate in over a thousand games by doing that. And I really don't rush into killing him now. At level 3 I'll be able to do something, but till then... See how he spams. I don't care, I lost some CS. Now, they know where Kha'Zix is, and I dislike that. I dislike that deeply. Very good flash from me there. And actually got us a huge, huge advantage. Especially since he really has 5 CS. So minions were in his tower. So you can understand a bit how that went. So this starts to go amazingly well for me. And uh, my god, that's a bad wave position, but I don't care. Don't we fight? We don't fight, okay. I do not have any more mana to push, but I do have the tome, which is great. So I started the game by doing a perfect flash. It seems that none of their players flashed my W EQ combo, which I expected. And I would have still dealt damage there, and Jax would have still dealt damage there. But maybe they would have survived more, or something like that. And uh, Kha'Zix didn't even smite that. I'm gonna get 
some damage on my head. It's okay. Painful, but okay. I don't really have. Okay, we we in on top. I don't really have uh, much power in the lane now because I use flash there. And even though he used flash as well, I can just you know do this. How many dark harvest stacks has? Is that none or is it one? Zero. Okay, that's good. That's good. Can pike back off. getting a lot of CS with the, this pushing technique so I don't care now here we can wait for the next Q which is great exactly now I have to one minion left and I'm going to make level 6 now we're good someone ping there that is a word or a vision word yes that's good that's correct gonna ping now and Pike should be careful Probably Irela is on mid. No, never mind, she's back. first plate here. I don't know if I'll get it though. Yeah, I'll maybe get it if I push more aggressively. But also I have to consider that there might be an enemy Silas around, so keep that in mind. So now we got the Cloud Drake. Pretty much useless, but well. What else there is to do? Just pushing this, moving back. Jack's winning now that I gave him advantage. Everything goes fine. Careful, Kartus has ult. And Kartus will get a kill there if they don't play smart. Now, I know Kartus has still no Dark Harvest stacks, and I had to check that, but for the love of God. Was that necessary, I guess? And now he has a Dark Harvest stack and a kill. The only kill of the game. We do have a Jax that does fine and will definitely scale, so that is that for us, that's good. Now, 30 more seconds till I can actually try to engage on him. God, he's annoying. And I'm gonna lose some Marcias there. But luckily, that item helps. He has that room that actually helps him survive, so. I'm useful against that. Now I have all my summoners. I could actually go for the kill there. Okay, now 
trying to see what's happening on top. We have three men on top, diving at jacks. Okay. That went well. That's a counter gang right there. to return to mid lane. Even though Jax got killed, we got a trade somewhere there. So it's fine. Now we're going back to mid lane. Back to mid lane. Possibly catching Cartus in the process. Excellent. Probably has not all, but I have a biscuit as well now. That can compensate for the lack of oh my god he's two versus one in there. Okay, that's good. This guy is insane. Put your song gold on him and he's going to carry you. <laughs> Apparently that's happening. Now for the sake of Carter's ult and Silas and Rakan CC, I will go for for magic resist boots. And currently we're playing pretty much perfect. So that's going going good for us, C4 versus 3, but Cartus actually got his one stack from ult, so that's fairly fairly unfair. <laughs> since that's just a skillful button press, but yeah. I think he's in series for the final win towards Masters, and if he loses he drops. I mean he stops the series, not necessarily drops. And that's kinda I feel bad. But I got the win. Winning is winning. Let six take a lot of gold there. And obviously another cloud. Okay, there we go. That's a flash. And that's a markle for me. He finished Ludens as well. Oh my god, I'm losing so much CS here because of that. Display slash stupidity. And I'm gonna need all of this. I'm gonna make jacks really fast apparently. That's a bad play, at least Carter didn't get the kill, but that's a bad play. He still has a lot of CS over me, which is not okay. But yeah, we got a lot of plates. It's good, he killed again, Irelia. I shouldn't have engaged there that aggressively due to his uh, exhaust, that actually killed me. The time that was needed for his exhaust to complete was enough for Silas to reach. Now, the another th another thing that I s seriously missed there was, well, is that a perfect? Oh my God, that was a perfect uh, stopwatch there. I mean, I don't think Tristana even intended it to be for <laughs> for that, but I guess I should also buy vision words. I'm fairly sure I didn't buy enough and I'm gonna get this 
this Kha'Zix one line with the plates he receives from mid lane. Probably Kartus took from Silas as well due to the 30 CS difference now. Oh, nice. Didn't think I would catch that. It's actually quite a random variable sometimes. so it's fine Cartus, uh, Jax killing again Irelia I mean Irelia versus Jax is a skill matchup and if one of those goes wrong then well it's over and he's dead how do you even miss that buddy? how do you even miss that I mean that was a free kill for Kartus that was unnecessary I'm getting triggered and I pinged him for that and I'm backing off here because I don't want a random engage from him okay nice easy kill there should I go for yeah I'll go for a stopwatch I wait for a vision where the hell now? Anyway, I am having a great score. I am winning every lane basically at this point. Not the Cartus one that much, but well, yeah. Their the, their part of the game was sealed when I actually roamed there on mid and top. So only their bot has now stuff to. Win. Come on, die. Ah, that shit. That shit. Okay, never mind. See how often that Dark Harvest procs. I procs their Dark Harvest two times, dealing how much? 130 magic damage uh, compared to well Kha'Zix is that 100 toots and uh, more <laughs> that, that's the more damage than me probably and the fact that I actually proc'd it twice basically makes it uh, good because I'm dealing AoE damage I suppose but yeah in some games you'll see that it should be more often proc'd, this is a probably bad example, but proccing it multiple times can actually outscale electrocuity as 180 and I dealt two times 100 to 100 basically. So that's actually good. I think we just won here. Poor Pike cannot proc a single ult. Poor Pike. Anyway, the theory stands now. See, now I deal 125 damage while he deals 190. Should I? Come on, you want to finish now? They are respawning, we don't have time. Come on, back away. I want to finish too, but. For the sake of easily winning, let's just back off when it's required. Now I'm gonna farm all his jungle because I'm behind in farm. But I'm behind in har farm for a reason, is because I walked around the map and I, rock I walked around the map smart. While their card was killed our jacks, we killed two players, which is more than that, but our jacks still scales their bot lane and doesn't scale if they die. And maybe our jacks gave them gold, a lot of gold 
but still doesn't matter because again he still scales so 2804 that should be a practical example again going back to mid lane and they kill yeah they kind of gave up i see everyone's fed in our team everyone played well uh oh my god that's slow yeah go baron end game congrats we want yet another one guys Just Baron. Why risk it making longer with the cards so I can perma push your lane? Just go this. Remember guys, safety above everything else in everything. Why not finish the game with a good score, with a certain win? What one more minute will you risk one more minute of your life to lose a game? That's a bad trade mate. Tristana just suicided. And probably Kazakh stone. That was <laughs> horrendous stopwatch. Not understanding what exactly. Well, the plan would have been right anyway, but they overextended horrendously. And now Jax got caught too. This is. Oh my god. Should I go there to get caught too? Add one more stack to the pile. This is not worth it. Okay, now it's worth it. Go, Pike, go. <laughs> I can finish Zonia, that's why I use stopwatch and I will go and finish Zonia, not any other item. I cannot finish Zonia yet. Well, that's unlucky. I suppose farming one more camp somewhere will do. But this guy now pisses me off with the fact that, oh my god, look at that damage. Slowly catching up to him. Slowly, slowly catching up to him. Yeah, but rocking it is still better regardless, so that's our target now. Can we, can I get this please, and then finish Zonia and then go bot and end the game. What is the Kha'Zix doing? Can they like not hit, please, please, please. Jungle's dead, both junglers dead, and we have super fed top laner there. And basically, no one to challenge me now pushing this wave. Why they are not with me? I, well, I should have gone with them actually. What is Spike doing? I should have definitely go with them there. Still dead. Hey, dude. Cannon. Why aren't you not focusing this? He did. Why did Six Dot did not jump? Oh my god, he jumped afterwards. Jesus. Okay, we got two ships here. Probably. I mean, hopefully. Nah, one one ship is fine. Back off. Back off. Thank you. I have a lot of gold. <laughs> Jack.
Rex back dooring a lot of the day. Come on. Set that one up perfectly there. I, I need to go out of this. I'm dead. Well, last chance. Why did she ult? Stack harvests. Do I have money? Now I have enough money for, the, uh, for this item. Next item obviously will be this. I can sell this and we're good. Although I won't have the extra HP from crafting potion procs. Ticks. But I do have a Zonia now so we're very fine. Three cloud tricks. Three cloud tricks. A bit over the top, if you ask me, but... Now, we hit this Baron and the game. We couldn't end the game back before, because cards would have just pushed. And we would have probably lost to Fire versus 5, so this is the best outcome that I could actually think of. Now, I'm actually, again, close in CS to Kartos, but probably will never catch him. Because he has big minions, he can farm indefinitely if required now. I really hope I'm not... I don't see anyone on the map, so I'm going back now. And I'm not even going there. Okay, I can go there because I have Pike nearby. Okay. I need a word here. And one that's here. It's free, it's free, it's free. Rex doesn't have teleport, but honestly it's not even required at this point. I mean, Silas could have not sneaked around somewhere. So we're good. Can I have this please? Thank you. Don't, don't overextend, don't overextend, no points. You can just chill, walk, walk there. Why Why did he overextend? Why did Kartus take no damage there? That pike is a god. Okay, 21 stacks proc Dark Harvest 3 times, 2 times in the last fight, more than enough. So I guess that proves my point that it can be useful if you fight like a maniac. And again, in the first level 1 fight there, it could have proc twice. It could have proc actually twice if I played it well, but they got melted in the span of 1.5 seconds that is actually required for the Dark Harvest to recharge when you take down. Anyway, that's about today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and let's hope we reach Master soon. Have a next... Have a beautiful today and a beautiful next day. And see you next time. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. See you guys later. Bye bye.